Hey there, fellow Minecraftians, welcome to another mod showcase. And today I'm taking a look at Luigi's Industrial Farming mod. This mod is pretty cool, but before I get into it, let's take a quick look at the statistics. Now, as you can see, the author's name is a bit complicated. Um, I've read that he's German and his name is also German. So I'm going to try pronouncing it the right way, but uh, my German isn't my best language. All right, here we go. Luigi Wolkneuel. Right, yeah, <laughs> I'm not German. Anyway, it is version 1.4.2 and um, it also is available for Minecraft 1.4.2, which uh, makes sense, I guess. There's one next requirement and that is that it needs Minecraft Forge. Now let's get back to Minecraft and I'll show you what it does. It is quite simple, it adds four new blocks to the game um, that all have to do with farming in some way. Uh, starting off with the first one, which is the planter. It is crafted like so. Uh, quite cheap and it will give you a planter you can place this in the middle of a field like so and um, the dirt will need to be one layer above it so I've got it right here and in here you can put seeds or uh, you can also do pumpkin seeds if you feel like that or uh, melon seeds whichever you want and you can set the field size here and I'm going to set it to 49 because this is 7 times 7 which is 49 and what you can then do is Power it with redstone like so, and when you then hoe the blocks, it will automatically plant the seeds, as you can see right here. Now, because I've set it to 49, when I do this corner block, it will also plant it. When I actually set this to 25, which is 5 times 5, and I remove this, it will not plant it back again. And um, with this, you can uh, really easily control the amount of seeds that need to be planted. Quite useful. Now, this, of course, is a bit ugly so to say but uh, you can also implement it a lot better which I've had done here it's a bit more elegant this way and it just generally works a lot better let me put the seeds in here and when I up this as you can see it automatically plants it which is really really useful moving on to the second block um, it is right here and it is called the clipper it is crafted like this again quite cheap and it give you this clipper block and what this does is, once again, pretty simple. It will allow you to automatically shear sheep. So I've got some sheep right here. And these are also powered by redstone. Only one thing that I have uh, noticed is that it also works when it's not powered by redstone. Only this animation won't show up. But um, yeah, I've got this sheep right here. And when I push him onto the clipper, come here. Work. <laughs> oh, how did I do that? Well, that was a bit weird, but I've got another sheep here. Um, as you can see, it automatically gets uh, sheared quite quickly and it wool will drop. Now, this mod is also compatible with um, Faf's mod with the allocator, which will automatically suck up blocks. So, uh, that can be really, really useful if you just have a pen with sheep and the wool blocks that drop will automatically be sucked up and put into a chest. That all would also work with Tekkit mod, which would be awesome as well. I like Tekkit, and um, this whole mod is Tekkity ish. For as far as that is that is a word <laughs> moving on once more and um, this is the manger block or manger I'm not even sure how to pronounce it but it's pretty cool sure leave it is basically a tray and um, animals like these chicken right here um, they can automatically eat food out of this so when they're able to uh, mate so to say you can just uh, put some more chickens in here they will automatically go to this manger, and as you can see, they will eat the food which I've put in here, in this small inventory UI thing, and they will get the hearts around it, around them, and uh, they will automatically start mating right here. And like this, you can create a quick small animal farm, which is pretty damn cool. And this little chicken is stuck behind the block. <laughs> Ooh, let's turn this rain off. There we go. Now that, of course, is uh, pretty cool. And there's one last block that I want to show you, and that is this one right here. It is the scanner. It is a little bit more complicated to craft, but still really cheap. And uh, I've got it right here in the ground. And what it will basically do is it will scan a area of uh, your size, which you prefer. I've got it to five times five, because it's five in this way and five to this. So um, it will scan for this area right here. And it will scan the amount of animals that are in this uh, proximity. And you can set the animal count right here. Now, if it's 10 or more, 
it will send out a redstone signal, which I've got right there. If there are less than 10 animals, it won't send out this uh, signal. So right here I've got some uh, chickens, but there aren't 10 of them in this small area. Stop killing the chickens. <laughs> Oh wow, now I killed them myself. But anyway, um, because there aren't 10, this won't go off and these gates here won't open. So when I put more in here... Oh, those are sheep. <laughs> well, that works as well. But um, let's see, let's get 10. Let's get some more, but um, as you can see now there are 10 or more. And these gates will open until some animals leave. So, leave. The sheep is pushed out. <laughs> and uh, there you go, it closed again. So that's quite a cool thing you can create an automatic mob farm with this and that's pretty cool there are three more options ignore children like this it will ignore baby um, chickens and other mob babies so uh, when you have five normal chickens and five baby chickens it will only count five and uh, here we have detect children pretty much the opposite of that it will detect children and there's one more and that is protect children and that will mean it will never be activated when there are children in the or babies in the area so that is to protect baby chickens from going away and stuff so it's set on that now ignore children it still won't open detect children it will open again because then there are 10 or more when i up this it will close again when i put it down again it will open so that is pretty much this mod it is pretty damn cool and i can definitely recommend you to go check it out Anyway, I'll put the link to the thread in the description as always for the rest. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.